Здравствуйте! Вас приветствует канал СПВ Компа. Сегодня я покажу, как я настроил эмулятор RPC S3 для того, чтобы поиграть в игру Fight Night Champion. Эмулятор можно скачать с нашего сайта по ссылке, которую я оставлю в описании видео. Я настраивал на хак сборке 102.26. Себе уже скачал, разархивировал и настроил. Ссылка на бесплатные архиваторы будет в описании. Игра имеет статус интро, то есть логотипы посмотрите, больше ничего не работает вообще. Это неправда. Игра по мне идеально эмулируется, вообще никаких косяков и багов на полном full speed. Сами все увидите. Геймпад. Играя на клавиатуре, выбирается кейборд. Сначала мышкой кликаю кнопку вверх, теперь на клавиатуре нажимается та клавиша, что станет вверх. Так по аналогии весь геймпад настраивается. Те, кто предпочитает играть при помощи настоящего джойстика, могут посмотреть видео на нашем канале о том, как его настроить. Ссылка на видео будет в описании. Когда будете довольны тем, как настроили, кликните Save. Также в описании найдете ссылку на видео о том, как взламывать игры и накручивать различные ресурсы. Правая кнопка мыши Change Custom Configuration. Я себе поставил Full HD, потому что с FPS никаких у меня проблем нет. Если есть какие-то проблемы, ставьте по умолчанию. Я оставлю Full HD. Дойдем до конца. Здесь только одна галочка ставится наверху. И здесь вот эти две. Они должны быть по умолчанию. Apply Safe Custom Configuration. Смотрим. But with Custom Configuration. Видите, интро. Вот сейчас посмотрим, как будет работать. И спорт. Спасибо вам. Игра, конечно, шедевр. Так, старт. О, это уже сюжет, что ли? Не You did the right thing, though. You took your time and you got back up. Your father would be proud of you. That's what champions do. On. Так, я пропущу это.
So we start round number one of Andre Bishop against the intro. You and Joel Savone, you know, I heard a lot of experts ringside talking about the lack of experience for Bishop compared to Savone. Of course, Savone's a nine-time champion. And you have to wonder and ask yourself, will the nerves of Andre Bishop start to get to him? Will he be rattled against such a worthy opponent? Every fight takes on its own unique personality. And this fight looks like it's going to be a matching of wits, a technical display. Yeah, if it was a chess match, it wouldn't be a lot of knights jumping over to castles. It'd be a lot of pawns moving forward. Very steadily. See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. We expect a high work rate among these two fighters. Now, do you want to see that same work rate throughout the whole fight? You, or is that your expectation? I'd love to because we'd be having a good time and our fans, they're going to enjoy it. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Savone's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Solid shot, the overhand left. Bishop's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. What an excellent two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. End of round one. That was your Here we go. Round two is underway. I don't think it's a stretch to say that Andre Bishop actually has a strong lead against Joel Savone. Bishop's combination punching is working well here. Wow, is he defensively sound. Savone's inability to get away from his opponent's left hand is so evident. And it's going to stay that way if he doesn't change something. He needs to move the other direction, away from that punch. Andre Bishop so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Joel Savone's left, working well that time. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Andre Bishop. Joel Savone's combination punching is just perfect there. Three punches landing. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. And a well-targeted combination by Andre Bishop. He's getting him into position there. You can see him backing him up against the ropes. It seems to me that Bishop is right now uncomfortable with the pace that's being set in this fight. Well, he started the pace. See, that's the funny thing about it. He said it, but he might not be able to keep it up. That's a forceful two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left-hand scores. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Andre Bishop. And we come to the end of round number two. You want this fight? You gotta stay busy out there. And round 
number three is underway. I think Joel Savone may be as shocked as the rest of us. Andre Bishop is scoring often. Very nice defensive guard there. Andre Bishop's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Wow, Teddy, he's got some great hand speed there. That combination was an example of it. Yeah, it was. You know, not a lot of power, not a lot of pop with it, but boy, it catches your attention. Oh, and there he lands the right hand well. And just, oh! And he goes down. It was a magnificent combination that put him down. Now he has to get up. He gets up after that punch put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. Bunches and bunches, combination up top. And now he's targeting upstairs. Opened up. Oh, and there you go. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? How about that? What a big win for Andre Bishop. He is able to knock out the nine-time defending gold medalist. It's terrific, honestly. Being voted five. About Andre Bishop as he launches his pro career ahead. You got this one. You know what to do. You okay? Beautiful kid. You got your father. He certainly does. His father hit like a heavyweight, too. Ladies, Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We have a big card for you tonight, and a lot of people excited about what we're going to bring you in moments on our undercard. It is the pro debut of the middleweight, Andre Bishop. He will be going up against the KG veteran, Lucius Palmer, from here at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Stay with us for that. Palmer's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. Nice! Many may believe that in a matchup like this, power puncher versus power puncher, that he who has more power wins. But in a way, is it as simple as saying he who has more fundamentals wins? Yes, absolutely. He who has a missile to get that bomb to the target, he's gonna win. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Lucius Palmer. What a good headshot. The hook landed by Andre Bishop. See, Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Accurate jab brings the right hand. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, and he goes down for the first time tonight. One, two, three, four. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down. Now he's got to survive. So that's really wrong. It's not hard to prepare. It's a must. Look at that. And he crashes to the canvas once again. He's gotten up before. What about this time? A knockout victory to start your career, as if the buzz isn't big enough for Andre. Back here in the Friday Night Fight Studios, I'm Brian Kenny. Amateur gold medalist Andre Bishop taking his first steps as a pro this past weekend on the undercard at the Aragon Ballroom in Chicago. Bishop beating former welterweight contender Lucius Palmer en route to his first pro win. Now, we've seen Palmer before here on ESPN. He's a veteran, he's no joke, and Bishop is now considered to be one of the best prospects. I don't believe the dude in a record fight. No one. I don't want anybody against guys like that. How to make mistakes? 
We ain't here to do anything stupid. This ain't the amateur. You gotta change something. The time has come. All, all the talk is done. Now the fight is set to begin. There's Andre Bishop in the locker room, Teddy, with his long... Hi, everybody. This is Joe Tessitore. Glad you're with us alongside Teddy Atlas. We're at the State Palace Theater in New Orleans, and it is the second pro fight in the career of the much-talked-about Andre Bishop coming off that victory against Lucius Palmer. Now he takes on Mike Walker. Teddy, most of the fighters that you train throughout your career are guys that could be described as this, guys that really will bring it and are able to do it throughout the whole fight and go the distance. What's the mental makeup of a guy like that? Confidence. He's been there before. Be sure that he can do it. Walker's defense is paying big shot. Every punch landed in that combination, and he goes down hard. Three, four, five. And somehow, some way, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid this opponent like the Black Plague. Andre Bishop, that training really paid off. Just back to basics with the one, two, boom, boom. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? Ладно, друзья, не проходить же мне всю игру. Еще раз показываю. Официально игра интро, то есть вообще путем не, не поиграешь. На самом деле все работает великолепно, сами все видите. Спасибо вам за просмотр, подписывайтесь на наш канал SPVCOM, ставьте лайки, заходите на наш сайт SPVCOM.com. I was on my way, and baby brother was making his mark as an amateur. Gus had been our father's trainer. He took us in after our parents.